Hi, welcome back to On The Volley, or as we like to be known, OTV. Right, we're here today, well I'm here today, yeah, because uh, Keeper's still on holiday, comes back on Sunday I believe, and Matt unfortunately is busy with work, he's really, really snowed under, he's got deadlines, so he leaves it to me, but anyway, um, I'm going to be talking about Arsenal, and I'm going to be talking about the transfer situation. I'll be totally honest, I really didn't think that I'd be sitting here talking about the transfer situation when it comes to us, because if if anyone that knows Arsenal, especially the Arsenal supporters, we know that every year, every single year, we are linked with everybody, okay? And I'll tell you what I'm surprised about this year. We still haven't been linked with Julian Draxler. I mean, we've been linked with him every year for the last, what, five, six, seven years. I've lost count. Um, so, I mean, I suppose that's a positive. I mean, the transfer window isn't finished yet, so I wouldn't be surprised, and don't you be surprised, if you're an Arsenal fan, to hear his name being touted again and us being linked with him. It's just become a joke. Now, why did I not think I was going to do this? Because, again, like I said, every year we're linked and the speculation is incredible, okay? We're linked with everyone and at the end of the transfer window, we might buy one player, okay? Maybe two. But nine times out of ten, it's no one that we've been linked with, okay, throughout the transfer uh, window. Anyway, let's get into it, okay, and let's see what the situation is currently, okay, with who we're linked with and who, what the speculation is. Let's start with the transfers out, because obviously we need to offload quite a few players who we call dead wood. Now... One of our players that um, it looks as if it's a done deal is Granit Xhaka. Now, don't get me wrong, I think Granit Xhaka is a, a good player, okay? Uh, am I sorry to see him go? Mm, no, not really. I think we needed a change. He's a great player, but I think he slowed down the game for us, okay? Um, I think he'll fit in to the Roma Football Club and their way of playing, and I think he'll be outstanding for them. I wish him all the best. What I do question though, yeah, is why is he only going for 17, 18 million euros? I mean, a player of his calibre, we should be selling for about 30 million at least, 30, 35, 40 million. Why do we always undersell our players? Okay, classic example, Emi Martinez last year. Okay, an outstanding goalkeeper. He proved himself with us. We let him go for 20 million. 20 million. I mean, that's ridiculous. Something needs to be done. Uh, someone needs to go and have a look at our transfer business and how we're doing it, okay? Because it's, I don't understand it. And if someone out there can explain it to me, I'm here. I'll listen. Anyway, so let's carry on. Otherwise, I'm going to deviate. I do do that sometimes, okay, right? Zaka is practically a done deal, and I think we should hear an announcement next week maximum the week after. Mourinho's pushing for it. He wants him there and he wants him at pre-season. Let's go on to Reese Nelson. Okay, we brought him in. Okay, and we had great expectations for Reese Nelson, but he hasn't really had a consistent run. So, if you don't have a consistent run, okay, you're not going to be able to develop as a player. Now, an offer has actually been made for Reese Nelson to buy him by Olympiakos. Okay, that's what I've heard. Now, it hasn't gone anywhere. Arsenal want to keep him. Uh, but I think Reese is leaving his options open. He may go out on loan this season because I don't see him getting any chances this season, neither. Then you've got one good piece of news. Okay, Emil Smith Rowe has renewed his contract for a five-year period. Yes, okay, because what a player, what a player. And if you think about it, Arteta was reluctant to give him his chance. When he finally did, and all the fans were calling out for him to be played, okay, he proved his worth, he showed it. And it's testament to him that Aston Villa made two offers for him. I think the last one was for 35 million. 35 million for Emil Smith Rowe. Please give me a break, yeah? At least double that if you want to buy him. The guy's young and his sell on value is going to just triplicate if he keeps going at the rate he's going at. So 
I personally take that as an insult, okay? And I hope Emil Smith Rowe took it as an insult as well, 35 mil. In today's market, nah, nah, so. What about Hector Bellerin? His time's come up as well. I think we need to offload him. Rumour has it that Inter Milan want him, but they want him on a loan with an option to buy. And Arsenal really, really need to sell their players, yeah? We need to bring some money in if we want to buy other players. So I think they're holding out um, until they actually get a firm offer for him. I want to see how much that offer is, how much we're going to accept, okay? Because I think Hector Bellerin is worth in the 30 million mark as well. Um, there are some French teams interested in him, and I think one of the French teams is Marseille. Go, you can go and play with William Saliba, who's there in, uh, uh, you know, on the second year of a loan. Do you know, we've loaned him out two years running, but hey, let's not go into that. I've already, I've already covered that. What's going to happen with Kolasinac? I mean, he's still there. We're supposed to be selling him, offloading him, but there's been no offers as far as I know. William, another one, okay? Now, don't get me wrong. I think William is a great player. At least he was when he was playing for Chelsea. I can't understand what happened to him at Arsenal. Why did he not play at the level he's capable of? Is it our fault? Is it William's fault? Only he knows that. Now, I wish him the best. I know he wants to go. The fans definitely don't want him at our club. We made that clear. Okay? And I think Arsenal will allow him to go. But there are no concrete offers for him as yet. If he does go, I wish him all the best and I wish he can, you know, prove everyone wrong and go back to the level that he was. Because he's a great player. He just didn't do it with us. Then we got Willock. Yeah, my boy Willock. Yeah, Joseph, baby. Okay, right? Outstanding loan spell at Newcastle, and my mates from Newcastle absolutely love him. They'd like him back on a loan spell. I think I'm not too sure with the problems that there are in Newcastle. I heard that they've only been given 10 million, okay, to spend. Uh, but they might make some money off the sale of Maxim because I heard that Everton wants to buy him. So. You know, it's all to be seen as yet because Arsenal, if they're going to let Willock go, I think they want money coming in. I think they're going to sell him. Good for Willock, okay? If we do sell him, at least he gets a chance to play first team football. And I hope he proves. Oh my God. Hold on a second. We've got um, is somebody getting married. Uh, you know, have you had a kid? Uh, is it a university graduate? What's happening? Okay. All right, fine. Enjoy yourselves. Okay. All right, they're gone. Thank God for that. Okay, right. But hey, we're in the center of Rome, yeah? Okay, we don't have the God-given right, you know, to silence. So anyway, um, we have yet to see. Look, the transfer market is a little bit weird. It's basically really, really slow at the moment. And I think we're going to see, okay, activity, a rush of activity in the last week of the transfer window so let's wait for August let's wait for that last week and then we'll see now let's go on to the players that we bought hold on a second I'll put a couple of notes because otherwise sometimes I do I do make a mistake yeah we, we bought Nuno Tavares I think he's looking good I've only seen him play once um, we bought Albert Sambi Lokonga and he comes highly rated by Vincent Company and Thierry Henry oh what more can you ask for I mean, a young player that comes highly rated by Vincent Company and Thierry Henry, I can't wait to see him on the football field. I really can't. They've seen him, they know him, okay? Hey, I trust them. I just can't wait to see. Now, Ben White, Ben White has, has yet to be announced. People have been asking the question, well, what's happening with him? What's happening? Have we got him? Don't we have him? Yes, we have got him. Stay calm. Okay, he was at the Euros. Straight after, he went on holiday. We're waiting for him to come back from his holidays. Then he's going to have his medical. And then he's going to be officially presented as an Arsenal player. But I can tell you, okay, from my sources, okay, don't ask me who my sources are, okay, he is an Arsenal player. That's it. Locatelli. 
Uh, we've been talking about Locatelli. Locatelli wants to go to Juventus. Understand that, completely understand that. They were haggling about it. Last I heard, it was practically a done deal. So I think Locatelli, unless something goes drastically wrong, uh, he's not coming to us. That's my prediction. James Madison, we've been linked with him. Madison would cost a lot of money. There was talk about, you know, Ainsley Maitland-Niles, okay, or Reese Nelson being, you know, added to the equation. We'd give one of those players plus cash, okay, to cover it. Will that happen? I don't know. Again, links, speculation, okay? No offer has been put on the table as far as I know. Hassan we were chasing him all of last season. What happens? We hear bits and pieces. You know, he cost halfway cost last year. Last year, I think it was 50 million they were asking for. This year, talking about 25, 20, 25 million. So why haven't we signed him up? Why is it that last season, he was our top priority, yet this season, he's half the price, and we haven't got him? <laughs> I don't understand that. Okay, only the powers to be that actually do the transfers know that. Ruben Nevers, we've been linked with him as, as well. What can I say? No comment. Great player. If he comes in, I'll be happy. But again, link, speculation. Okay, nothing concrete there. Aaron Ramsdale, oh my God, 30 to, or 32 million. Okay, when we let Emmy Martinez go for 20 million last year. Ridiculous. We could have got uh, Onana. Okay, I hope I pronounced that right. I mean, he's my bro and all that, you know what I mean? But, you know, and it costs what? Like about 10 mil? Okay, but we decided, we decided not to go for him. Okay, for whatever reason. Uh, only the powers to be who deal with the transfers know that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we, we can just speculate. <laughs> um, then you've got Tammy Abraham. Okay, and he's been in the papers. Apparently, Tammy Abraham, Chelsea uh, want us to take him on a loan deal with an obligation to buy for 40 million at the end of the season. Uh, but then another source says that um, they want to use him as a make weight, okay, so that they can get Declan Rice from West Ham. Again, links and speculation. We don't really know what's happening. That's the trouble with the transfer window. There are so many, so many links, so much speculation that I say, you know what? It will be what it is when it's official. Then we can come out and talk about what's actually happened. I'm not going to talk about transfers now, okay, anymore, until maybe next week, okay, which will still be links and speculation. And then I'll probably do one last one Okay, to go back and look at the links, review the links and speculation, and what was actually done in the transfer market, just so that we can see how close the links and speculation, or far, how far out they were. I'd like to thank my cameraman or camera lady, okay, you can't see her, Una, okay, I owe her at least a couple of pints. I'd like to thank uh, the Finnegan's pub here in the center of Rome, and obviously from me, Sha. I would ask you to put your comments underneath, like if you like, okay, and please subscribe. I'm out.